Alright boys, we are back. In our episode of the Egypt Let's Play, we are still alive. As you can see, I have kind of signed peace with them, but shit ain't going so well. Germany has taken Moscow, Leningrad, and most of the USSR cities, kind of, like a lot of them. Uh, the UK is well not at war with us, but it seems like they will try to take our capital. Will we be ready for that? I don't know, but hopefully uh, we will be. I don't know um, if I'll be able to win this war. Kind of seems like a lost cause to be honest. And we might need to restart, I'm gonna keep that in mind. You know, I don't want to play if this is gonna be a loss. There's the US here, there's uh, the UK. Spain is fighting the US. London is gone by the way, Jesus. Uh, I think we could recover ally with uh, Germany, right? And with... Uh, the help of Germany over here. The USSR will soon fall, then so will uh, France. The US could be pushed out of here, and then even uh, the UK could fall. So I think we should keep fighting on, although I don't have much hope. But we still have a chance. We will send most of our divisions, most of our units, to protect Cairo right now. They are sending their units over here, so we will get our units over to Cairo to protect the city. This could be an interesting uh, let's play this, you know, we could lose, we might not lose and might this might be actually uh, pretty cool, you know, just defending I suppose. But we'll see, let's make port set into a tank plant so we can get tanks, so we can push back the British finally. The British have something here, hopefully they aren't going to uh, bomb my cities because that would be just very bad. Seems like peace isn't gonna last with them, so I guess we'll see what's gonna happen. I'm gonna build uh, some heavy tanks here, and we're gonna stay the same on our research. France is inactive, so I mean you're not gonna be here for much longer, Germany still has units, and they will probably be able to push, well first of all push uh, the UK out of Italy and the mainland Europe as well as take the rest of France out as well as the USSR and Yugoslavia which will certainly uh, destroy most of the UK's army especially if London getting destroyed right now they will not be producing like anything right there. Uh, looking at Mightiest armies, UK actually has the largest, that is surprising, they are very militarized it seems. So that's that's not good. The US is pretty good as well, the USSR is inactive now which is great. And it's all about the, the USA here really. Will we be able to deal with them or not? Because Spain is also uh, fighting the USA and I don't think they're gonna be winning this. Which is pretty bad. But I think with the help of Germany, if they can push the US out and take out the UK, then the USA ain't gonna stand much of a chance. So this is all about um, staying alive for now. That's all it really is. Let's upgrade these units. We're gonna um, put our artillery behind here and we're gonna have these motorized as the main defense force. We'll actually, let's build infantry instead so we can get a lot of it and they are also a defensive unit let's get level 2 for that let's also build up the barracks here this is gonna be a bloody battle although it will be a pretty nice one i will um stay active over here see what i can do after i uh, take out what they have here which is like three tanks i will prepare more units uh, to push over here in the sedan taking most of the UK's production here in Africa. After that I will also push here into the Middle East and see what happens from there on. So that's the plan, I think that's actually all for this video. So I'm gonna end it. Thank you for watching and goodbye!